So this is an Eno that I've modified to put a bug net on. Bug net's not on it right now and I also have a zero degree Zeppelin full length underquilt on it. And I want this pod system to be able to go around all of that and a zero degree inside uh, burrow top quilt. So we'll see what happens when I stick it on here. So there's the bag loosely draped onto the hammock. And as I was saying, this end piece, I just bring it up here and stick it around the knob on the hammock. Kind of makes a snug draw on the area. Okay, continuing work on this uh, pod system. Got my zero degree synthetic bag slung to the outside using a few bungees and some tabs that I sewed on at what I thought were appropriate spots. Now, this is, of course, filled with other sleeping bags. And it looks as though I have a gap of about that much to fill. It's going to get a little bit tricky because the top of the bag will come up pretty close up here. But I really want more room up at the shoulder area to where the edge of the bag is here. So I've kind of laid it out a little bit. I'm going to start with a 3 inch at this end. And at one foot it'll be one foot, two foot will be 19 inches, three foot will be 22 inches. At four foot area it'll be two foot and it'll continue the two foot fill width all the way to the head end. So I've, I've got a piece of calendared 1.1 nylon here. I think it's downproof but I don't know I've got so much stock around here I'm not sure but this will work. And I folded it in half and laid out a rough line here of where I believe I'm going to make this. This will be the outside piece and the inside piece I will cut four inches or probably six inches wider than this because the inside piece is the one I'll sew the baffles on. So we'll cut this out. We'll keep you posted on how it goes. We've got basically uh, started out at about uh, three inches down here at the end and it tapers to 24 inches at the top. There is a uh, zipper on each side that matches one of the sleeping bags that I have cut up for a pod and a piece of little protector here to keep the zipper from getting tangled in the stuff. There's about four, in, four ounces of down in this thing and uh, it's not that big so it should work pretty good. And again, it's not going to be the primary insulation. This is just going to be the over pod in uh, system. I'm going to put it on one of the hammocks I've got here that uh, has a bag already over it. And I've got a zero degree under quilt inside or underneath the hammock also. So we're going to show you how this fits. So what we've got, two zippers come to a point matching parts on the sleeping bag. The lowest zipper probably won't be even used to open. You'll probably use the upper zipper most of the time. It'll be more centered over your body as you're in the hand. So again, we've got a zero degree underquilt underneath this. Eno hammock. Okay, there is some airspace in here that you'll end up 
stuffing with an additional quilt. But I think this is going to work pretty good. I left the end a little bit long and un sewn to the zipper so you can use it as a draft collar on the inside. You're still going to have to do a shoulder tuck around your shoulders, but uh, with a frost bib on and this should cut the wind very well from the sides. There shouldn't be any issues there. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be cold enough. I might get out and test this maybe this weekend. Depends on temperatures. But I can tell you, you're not staying in it long inside the house. It's pretty warm.